Thanks for watching this new video. The topic is how to enable conditional access on Windows 10 with Intune and APM. The goal is pretty simple. I have a Windows 10 machine, I have an APM, and I want to use the Azure AD conditional access with Intune to allow or deny access to my applications, whether the application is in a cloud, in a SaaS, or on-premises protected by an APM on-premises, for instance. So to do so, it's pretty simple. First of all, I need an Azure AD subscription. So as you can see here, this is my F5 Networks as ready subscription and what I'm gonna do I will just configure an application because on-premises have an application the application is is a juice shop and I will just create the application in as ready okay it's mandatory the as ready the IDP needs to know all the service providers applications so to do so now it's pretty easy in as ready you go to enterprise application you create a new app and you search for APM and you can see now there is a template. So I did it already in order to reduce the time of this video and I created this application. So it's pretty simple. You just have to provide few information. The first one, when you click on Seager sign on is to provide the information about the, your service provider, your APM. So my APM, for this application is listening on juiceshop.emia.f5ic.com. Okay. Then uh, when it's done, the the template create for you everything. Okay, with a sign-in certificate and so on. The next step is to assign users or group of users to be allowed to use this application. So I just assign one user. It's MFA. This is the name of my user, and I enable and assign a conditional access policy. So I have, a, I have a P1, a premium one subscription in order to have the conditional access. And let's have a look on the conditional access policy. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. Okay. So I assign to uh, one user MFA. Okay. Just for a demo standpoint. So it's MFA at emefirc.com. And I have to, to create the conditions and the conditions are multi-factor authentication. So I need my mobile phone and require device to be marked as compliant. So I need a compliancy check from Intune plus the MFA on my phone. And I require all of them, not just one of them, all of them. So this is my, my conditional access. So that's it on Azure AD. On Intune, of course, have a Windows 10 and roll in, in, in Intune. Okay, so you can see this is my Windows 10 device. At the moment, it's not compliant. So I should not have access to the Juice Shop or to any other application. Okay, because it's the condition is, I have only one conditional policy. This is for, for the Microsoft side. On the big IP side, it's easy as well because I use a guided configuration template. So I go to federation and service provider. So I created one here and let's check step by step what I did. So I define my entity ID, the same has defined in Azure AD. Okay. The next one is a virtual server. That's it. Okay. This is my virtual IP address. And here for the IDP connector, there is an, a template for Azure AD straightforward. So I select Azure AD as a template. I provide my tenant ID. I, I just upload the certificate provided by Azure AD. So let me show you where it is in the single sign on. It this one certificate base 64. Download the certificate and upload the certificate. That's it. Okay. For the rest, you can keep the default value. It's fine. Create a pool, select a pool. This is my juice shop pool. 
if I need single sign on or not. I don't need single sign on for juice. Endpoint check if I want to do extra, extra endpoint check. And then I can deploy. And that's it. Okay, at this moment, I have a virtual server here listening on this on this uh on this IP address. And I'm good. I'm good. On one side I've a big IP APM publishing my application with a SAML service provider policy bound to an Azure AD IDP with a conditional access policy assigned. So let's make the test in the Windows 10. On this Windows 10, as you can see, it's not compliant because the firewall is disabled. Okay, so I on purpose disabled the firewall in order to be not compliant. Okay, so behind the scene, how it works, the Windows 10 every X minutes push a device status. Okay. So I did the manual sync in order to accelerate the demo. So now my device is not compliant. Only Microsoft Edge and Chrome, as far as I know, support the conditional access from Azure AD because Azure AD needs to know who is the device. Okay, so the Azure AD needs to know the device ID, and to do so, it uses uh, this kind of plugin. Okay, you can see I'm connected as MFA. So this plugin is able to. Uh, to download my device ID. And this is a, a pure uh, Microsoft device ID. So let's go to, to Juice Shop, okay, be, behind APM on premises. And I I remove all the all the tokens in order to be sure that I will have all the steps. Okay, because as you may know when you're talking to Azure ID you have tokens and session for a long time. So I deleted all of them with a PowerShell command. Let's go to the shop. I'm redirected to Azure AD. Uh, as you can see, I'm not authenticated. It's just uh, a cookie to tell, oh, uh, this guy is already authenticated, but it's not logged on, okay, because it's not specified here. So select MFA first factor. The second factor, okay? So I have to approve it on my mobile device. Hold on. As you can see, after the MFA, my device is not compliant. Okay, so I cannot access Juice Shop. Okay, so the MFA pass, but not the, not, not the conditional access, that is MFA plus uh, uh, device posture. It's exactly the same situation if I try to reach uh, a SaaS application or any application that is uh, bound to uh, to the to the Azure AD, okay, exactly the same. I'm blocked as well. So now let's enable the firewall and think with Intune. I force a synchronization. And in a few minutes, I should see my Windows 10 compliant in Intune. Okay, I think, perfect. So now my device is compliant. Okay, so let's make a new test. So, so far so good. If I get back to my Edge, Microsoft Edge, when I will authenticate against Azure AD, First factor, second factor, the edge client, the edge browser will provide with a with a device ID, and as already we confirm or not if I'm compliant, and I should be compliant. Okay, so let's try with Juice Shop again. Let's go there. MFA. I love Mama. Second factor. Then if I want to stay in now, I don't care. Got access. I'm compliant. Okay. And I should be able to to go to any SaaS or cloud application bound to, to Azure AD. Like my portal. Okay, my Azure portal. 
that's it. So it's very easy. Okay, it's just SAML service provider configuration on APM, an Azure AD with conditional access and and an Intune license. Okay, an in, Intune compliance policy, and the big IP just rely to to Azure AD. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon for another video where we will control with the Edge client for SLVPN in the same use case.